Hi, Anna here. Today I show you how to paint this rock painting. I am painting with gouache. The stone I'm using had already been painted once, but it was left in the garden for a while, and the weather has left some marks on it. After carefully cleaning the stone with a brush, I primed it with a layer of white gesso. I made a rough sketch with the pencil and I'm using colors from Schminke. This is not a sponsored video. I bought all of my materials by myself. Right now I have titanium white, metal lake deep and lemon yellow on my palette. I'm mixing the three colors into a pastel orange because the sky I'm painting today will glow in a beautiful orange red. Gouache is perfect for creating smooth transitions. However, stones painted with it aren't perfect for outdoor use. Now I'm adding ultramarine blue to my palette. Mixed with metal lake deep and some white, it creates a vibrant violet, which I need for the horizon. The wet paint softens the orange a bit, allowing the violet to blend in beautifully, resulting in smooth transitions between violet and orange. I also add a touch of violet to the edge of the sky. Be careful not to use too much water, as the colors won't cover as well. In the center of the sky I paint a spot where the sun is with lemon yellow. I am blending the yellow spot into the orange of the sky by dabbing with a wet brush the edges of the spot. With the red, I paint some clouds above the violet horizon. The sun itself I paint with pure white as a dot in the middle of the yellow. For the meadow, I mix a muted green from yellow, blue and red. I vary the shades to give the meadow a lifelike look, some areas with shadows, some with brownish patches.
to simplify things, I also add a bit of green directly from the tube to the palette and mix it with yellow or blue to create more tones. First I paint a base color for the right needle and later add shadows and highlights. The more distant part of the needle is lighter, so I mix some white into the green. With a reddish tone I make the horizon clearer. With darker green and vertical strokes, I suggest plants and grass blades. Make sure the grass isn't all parallel. Darker areas help create depth. On the left I darken the meadow at the horizon a bit because it seems too bright to me. On the right I lighten a hill with white. The 
add flowers to the landscape with irregular yellow depths. Make sure the flowers aren't too uniform due to the shape of the brush. I add a few dark strokes for shadows. For the path, I mix burnt amber with white to create an earthy base tone and paint it with horizontal brush strokes. Again, I vary the shades to keep it interesting. Grass grows along the path and I add shadows for the left side to create depth. Since the path is used by vehicles, there are tracks and grass groves in the middle. I add tiny white spots to suggest flowers, which I later paint over with yellow to make them shine. For the trees, I use a natural black using blue and warm brown.
first I paint the trunks and then dab the leaves. Now I add the third tree to the scene. I always prefer odd numbers, whether it's trees, flowers or birds. It feels more balanced. In the distance, I suggest a few more treetops. Under the trees I paint darker green for the shadows. A few more highlights and details along the path and the stone has been brought back to life for a second time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and a subscription.